In this video, we will understand what is KPI and how we are going to use that KPI in Power BI. So KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. So Key Performance Indicator. Okay. So this is a metric or a set of metric used to evaluate the success of an organization or individual or a project in achieving specific goals or objectives. So, KPIs are used in various industries and functions such as business, finance, marketing and human resources to measure performance, monitor progress and identify key areas of for improvement. So, few uh, examples of KPI are like revenue. Okay. Uh, revenue growth is the best uh, example. Customer retention rate. Okay. Employee satisfaction. So the choice of KPI depends on the specific goals and objective of the organization or individual being measured. 99.9% .9 we will be using a metric in KPI, not 99.9, .9, it's a 100% we have to use metric in the KPI in order to show an effective KPI measure that is key performance indicator measure. So how we can show that KPI so you can show that KPI um, using the card in business in Power BI. Okay, so here you can see um, here you can see that this is the visual. Okay, if you wanted to insert a visual you can use this. So click here you can see a card. Okay, KPI. So here they have clearly mentioned about the KPI. So if you click on this card okay you can see you can connect with any of the metrics so i'm going to click the sales okay that is the sales here once if you click on the sales if you select the sales you can see the kpi which is processing that is it shows the total sales of that particular uh, business okay so the total sales is what sum of sales so this is what kpi okay it shows like a small card if you wanted to add multiple cards, that is possible. So simply add multiple cards here and you can show what are the, what is a profit? Okay. What is a profit? Got it. So this is what the KPI, you can either arrange according to your um, creativity. You can arrange in, um, in like horizontally or vertically. So whatever the uh, way you want, you can do that. But this is how we will be showing the KPI. So let us just try to format this KPI. This is a visual in Power BI. So once if you click here, you can see that you have the visual here. So once if you click on more visuals, you can see the visuals here. So this is the formatting pane. Let us try to format it. Let us try to see like what are the things which we can add it. So here the size and style. Okay, if you want to increase the height and width. Okay, probably you can even do it here. Okay, e even if you want, if you have any specific measure, you can do that. Okay, if you wanted to lock the aspect ratio, so once if you lock the aspect ratio, you cannot change it. Okay, that is, you can see that this is uh, how you can lock the aspect ratio. Okay, and once if you click here padding, so how uh, you want it. Okay, what what's the padding like above? That is a space the space here okay space on the right a space on the down and space on the left so what is the padding uh, options you want by default it will be like five pixels px which means pixels if you want to do some changes over it you can do that okay so that is what pixel and uh, what are the changes you wanted to do with the background so now the background color is white and if you want to change the background color to pink or if you want to ch change the background color according the theme then that is possible so you can give here and you can adjust the transparency here okay and if you don't want the background color to be uh, uh, to be visual then you can just make it off and on you have a visual border here so you can see here that if i come out you can not see the border okay there is no border so if you wanted to use the border you can use the visual border option so enable the visual border now you can see there is a border some uh, uh, it shows some black color and even if you wanted to adjust the border you can do it if you wanted a different color to show up you can just change the color here and 
you can if you want the shadow some shadows like uh, to the uh, to the tile you can do that okay these are all the size and positions and all these things and if you want to do something with the title okay you can just make the title on and if you wanted some text in the title okay sales okay i'm just giving sales you can see that there is a title which is available here okay so if you want to switch it on the title you can add it and you can just do all the changes here in the title okay uh, if you want to make it bold if you want to make it italic underline so probably like what are the other other important essential changes which you would prefer to do it for the title you can do it if you don't want it okay then simply just go and turn it off okay and the call out value so here you can see how the display should be by default it is in millions okay so if you want to change it to thousands it will be changed okay if you want to change it to uh, millions probably it is in million if you want to change it to billion if you want to change it to trillion and if you want to change it to null none okay so it will not show anything just it will show up the value and if you just go uh, do it as 118 then you can find. so you can make it as um, auto okay so here you can see this is a tile so we were discussing about the callout value right so this is the callout value and if you want the text wrap then you can do it source spacing if you want you can try that okay so and the category label if you don't want the category label so by default it shows like a sum of sales if you don't want that you can disable that as well if we go to the property you have other property like if you want to show the tooltip you can enable so what if i didn't enable the tooltip even if you go and place your mouse cursor on that card it will not show up and if you enable the tooltip it will show what is that and if you want to give the alternate text description you can give that as well and if you need any other advanced uh, uh, advanced option you can do enable that as well okay so this is the basic changes which you can do with this and even if you don't if you want the same thing for example this is a, a technique which i usually use if i want the same color for a different kpi what i'll do is i'll simply copy this control c and then i will paste it control v and use this and uh, i will just add the uh, property here so instead of this i will just change this to profit okay and again i will do control f and instead of this i'll just change this to uh, something right um unit sold okay so this is how like you don't want to do individually you can simply copy and paste it and uh, if you wanted uh, to maintain the proper format you can simply go to the pro uh, format and you can um, make it like align left align center align right okay so all these things distribute horizontally and distribute vertically so everything it will or by default it will do it for you don't want to worry more about it okay so this is how you can add the kpis into power bi uh in next video we will discuss more about uh so kpi you can try the next kpi which is this kpi card okay and multi row card you can simply try this and gauge so these are all related to kpi we will be using only the measures for all these thing so i also i would like to show you like what happens if you are not using the, using the measure instead you are trying to use the um, use the dimension let us see product okay so what product it is showing it is showing umbrella first product okay it's simply showing the product which is available on the top okay so it is good to use only the measures don't go with anything else Okay, in the next video, we will discuss more about the table and matrix. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.